So on our layer of the aura, on a chakra, on a meridian. So the meridian, up, down, both. Okay, so up and down five times. <laughs> Sorry, as in. Yeah, okay, cool. So, <clears throat> and is it okay for the book to be on there? Yeah. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively transcend my judgment into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively allow my mind to open to people and ideas. I will realise that I gain as I set others free and support their using their highest and best guidance. Okay, okay. We need to do it again, but we're going from transcend to dissolve. Uh, is it the liver again? Is it something else? Okay, so is it another meridian? Is it chakra, chakra, heart chakra, base chakra? Okay, so which is the priority? Base. I think it was the heart one there included in that. Yeah, so they're sort of, I'll stack them both in. Mm. Actually, I'll stack them in and see whether it's first, second, third stage stress. And hold. And hold. Okay, third stage. So chronic fatigue of that combination of chakras. Is there psychological reversal linked in with that? Yes, yeah, still that safety. It's not safe. Okay, so safe. Trust isn't so much now. So the trust seems to have settled down a bit. But it is safe to let go of this problem. And hold. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It is safer to keep this problem and hold. Okay. That's funny. <clears throat> okay. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my judgment into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively allow my mind to open to people and ideas. I will realise that I gain as I set others free and support their using their highest and best guidance. And depending on what sort of business you get up and running, if you're going to have staff, like that's a huge thing, being able to utilise people for what they're bringing to you. Because if you choose to utilise someone, it's good to get really smart people who know their stuff and who can add to your business. You don't want to, you know, drag the cats in who is sort of, it, it's a, yeah, it's one of those things really allow people to shine if you do end up choosing to hire. The yellow cow slip. And do we need the flower essence as well? No. So let's go have a look at this little combo again. And hold. Hold. Yeah, okay, so we're back to first stage stress. Good. No, we're back to normal. It locked and it unlocked the way it's supposed to, so we're back to normal. Cool. Okay, so we need to put in more structural stuff. Your lower back's okay? Yeah, that's okay. Right? It's neck stuff we need to add in. And some jaw stuff. Okay. So firstly, I'll just pop in bow and technique moves in the neck. Which is just like a little roll over the fascia. And then we'll see whether the anterior neck flexors are working. So lift the head, hold up for me, and hold, and hold, <laughs> and hold, and hold, and hold, no. 
Now, that relates to the stomach issue, so I think your acupuncturist mentioned stomach stuff, so let's check pet clavicular hold, which in uh, kinesiology is the connection to the stomach. So not 100%. So this is the neurolymphatic point for the stomach. Neurovasculars for the stomach. Can you feel that pulsing? It's mm. sort of like doing a little bit mm. of a jumpity Did jump. Yeah. <laughs> Static. So there we go. Balanced out. Anytime you're feeling stressed, hand on the forehead. Hand on the forehead brings blood supply to the frontal cortex, just helps you to problem solve. cool down here as well like it's like um something happened up here that's really been impacting on the energy so even the stomach meridian feels cold in the bottom uh, half it's of your like legs you know when you're walking forward and you hit something and it's like the, the top stopped and the bottom just kept trying to move forward it's yeah kind of like so your body splits like that like sort of any idea with the past life any inkling there it's all right if Sensing that there's someone affecting her starting a business, but when I test, I'm getting no, but it might be a bit of deception. Not herself? Her. No, yeah, somebody else in her life. It could be a little bit of deception. Okay. Maybe getting a no, so it might just be worth checking that there's someone. Haha. <laughs> It's saying no, but Angel Sword just showed up. Mm, so there's a bit of deception going on there because I felt it so strongly. So there's some sneaky tendrils of something in there. So Angel Sword is for letting go of other people's crap or the crap that's attached to your energy from other people. It's that whole, you walk into a room, there's just been a fight. What bit of that do you take on? You know, we can feel it. Five drops. And once again, in corporate, that can be a bit of a man eat man type of environment as well. So, claws can come out regularly. Someone was really not happy about her deciding to start her own business. I'm getting some tricked. Yeah, okay. So, we don't probably need to know who it is, but any and all consequences of their whatever, jealousy or envy, whatever, or not being in control of you. Control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and you need to own your own power around it. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what you've got over there, but something along the lines, you know, with flower essences, there's lots of different varieties. Um, there's a combination in the Australian bush flower essences called Personal Power Remedy. And uh, it's got things that basically someone else's energy might be trying to make you go hide in the corner. And then it, energetically you don't want to. So your body just starts feeling it in the spine, in the neck. You know, everything's holding you back because you want to go forward, but this energy is just stuck in there. So something along those lines could be an idea, some flower essences to help with your personal power. Oh, yeah, right. And, uh, yeah, Southern Cross, which once again is about um, that energy where it's not going as fast as you would like, so it's a bit of that poor me energy. But once again, you are where you are. It's time to move forward. Um, thank the past for teaching you all the lessons you've learnt and time to move forward and let go of other people's beliefs about you, especially family. Family beliefs can be fun to move on. Mm. Because that's their fear coming up, like if they're not game enough to take those risks and you know, there's a whole lot of energy behind when we make a decision for ourselves and it can upset a few people. They might not say it, but energetically they're... Yeah, so four drops of Southern Cross.
Mm -hmm. Well, it's easy to get that energy coming into your world when you're when we're not paying attention to our thoughts. Especially <coughs> when we're making a decision and we're we're feeling a little bit vulnerable because we're thinking, are we doing the right thing? So that's a really an opening for other people's influential energy to pounce. If you know what yeah, I mean? When you're absolutely. feeling a little bit Am I doing the right thing type thing? And that's gives a little opening. So let's see how the neck muscle's gone with that. And hold up for me. And hold, and hold, hold, and hold. Beautiful. Now hold down, don't let me lift up. And head up, don't let me push down. Okay. So I'll do it, and then I'll, so I'm going to do the whiplash correction, but then we'll do it in relation to letting go of the past and creating your, creating, um, what was the phrase we were using? Starting your own business. It's really about creating your future, which is where the terror comes in or the anxiety comes in. We don't know what it's going to look like. You hope it's going to be great, but it's like we need to own it. So firstly, in the clear. Hold down. And head up. And hold up. So now that makes sense of whiplash because when I said that like the top there and the bottom that whiplash of now you're trying to move forward but your legs aren't there because mm. you're going through that same which is what whiplash is and then you just go so far. A punishment circuit. Okay. Okay, so I don't know how new this idea has been for you, starting your own business. But it's a new phase of your life regardless. <laughs> yeah, right. It's, it's like going back to when you're three years old and you're creating your new life as an individual. So at three, you know, you want your parents there to keep you safe and warm and happy and, and cosy and comfortable. But you want to get out and about and feel like you can, you know, go touch things and play with things and, and all sorts of stuff. So the, it's to do with identity and initiative. That's where it's being jammed. Not 100% being feeling like you're respected for yourself or accepted for yourself. And that's messing with your confidence. Yeah, and your pride. <laughs> so nothing big. Okay. So no wonder no wonder it feels like the legs have been whipped out from underneath you. Okay, is there a grief gauge associated with that? Or any ego defense mechanisms? Yeah, right, minimization. So it's like your nervous system's going, oh, well, it doesn't matter anyway. Or I can keep it small, that'll be okay. Or, um, you know, like it's putting like a minimal pressure on yourself because it's sort of assuming there's going to be a failure there. Whereas you want to get rid of that minimization and go for the stars. What is it you want to do? Get it on paper, get people involved, you know, get a business plan going on. I found my business plan from 20, 23 years ago. <laughs> it was very funny. It must be good reading. Oh, okay. But there's also a real grief around letting go of the work you've been doing for so long. So in that corporate world, you know, because you're good at it, you know you're good at it, you know it's something that's been a big part of your world. But it, it's, it's in the um, exhaustion phase as well. So your nervous system's exhausted by it. But there is that grief of loss. So you don't want the grief to keep you there when you want to move on because sometimes that's what it'll do. The grief will come in and then you go, oh yeah, I'm going to miss it so therefore I'll stay. Yeah, so energetically, even though you've made this decision, your brain feels like it's been sheared or torn away from something. Maybe, and once again, more fringed violet. So fringe violet, it's for damage, trauma to your aura. Must be something energetically going on here a bit more. Mm -hmm. so I just get 
throw it, shoot it, and you know. Okay. So you imagine it's like darts coming at you all the time, poison, yeah. poison darts. Yeah. Pretty full on too. Four jobs. Especially as I think um, Tiffany said she's leaving this job at the end of this month. So yes. it's like that energy is getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Which would have been two days ago. No, it's only August now, end of August. Oh, so it did, okay. Yeah. So it's getting closer. That's exciting. But people will be experiencing all sorts of things at work. Yeah, so it's like they're getting more desperate to stop you energetically. I guess I'm not saying all the right words, but energetically they And it might be envy or jealousy on their part. It's like their last battle. Yeah, right. And so that has just moved around the corner of the grief gauge to the um, recovery maladaption phase and now it's gone into unhealthy separation. So you don't want an unhealthy separation from where you're working because then you'll have all, once again, you'll have all these tendrils that really don't need to be in your energy field. It's not yours anymore once you leave. Yeah, right, it's almost like a... Um, Oh, okay. It's almost like a destructive, uh, unloving, uncaring sort of energy. Once again, sweet to your face, but in the Sabotage. background, something, yeah. So, once again, we need to do something to clear that. Same again, pain and punishment circuit. Blowing your throat chakra. So I'm not sure whether there's something at work that you're not allowed to say or that you're saying that you don't mean or that people are saying to you that they don't mean or or once again maybe you're undermining yourself deliberately so that they feel okay about letting you go. We've got to be so careful with what we say. Okay, that's better. So we've moved that grief gauge on. Okay, let's have a, have a look. So, we're back to the neck. Oh, because that was... Okay, hold down. Head up. And hold up for me. In relation to spiritual whiplash. Hold down, head up, and hold. No <laughs> more. It tried. Oh, yeah, nearly. It's closed. Okay, so what do we need? Here's our oscillation. Oscillation. Hmm. So the cells are just oscillating mm. at a frenetic rate. Once again, perhaps some EMF protection. So you can buy all sorts of devices these days to protect your home, your body. All sorts of crystals will take that sort of thing on. Having Epsom salts around the place, Epsom salt baths. Lots of things help to draw the EMFs out of the body. Anything else? Another tuning fork combo. So this is quite a big one then, the spiritual whiplash. So once again, it's like um, choosing to move forward, but then someone whacking your back. Heart. Heart, stomach. Yeah, right, so heart is the um, one that feeds into stomach energy. So heart's the love, joy, hate. Uh, and then, so there's that real, once again, we're sort of talking about dual people, people saying one thing, mm -hmm. but then doing another. Heart is red. Well, 
my intuition, I'm just like getting that if something doesn't feel right to you when someone's speaking to you or if it doesn't feel like they're being truly honest, follow your intuition. Go with your gut. Oh, okay. So what's the phrase I've been using about letting go of the past? So we've got to let go of the past, especially the things that we sort of, you know, when we're moving on from something. So that's sort of one thing. But this is about not learning from past mistakes. So just because you're letting it go, don't forget the stuff that you need to know to move forward as well. So there's no point throwing everything else, you know. Yeah, don't want to throw the baby, baby out, out with the bathwater. <laughs> Yeah, we want to dissolve, so dissolve is good. Unwillingness to learn from past mistakes and tendency to repeat behaviours from the past. Okay. And this time on the heart chakra. Okay, so going in, coming out, or stable, coming out. Okay. I take responsibility for my attitudes and now choose to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively dissolve my unwillingness to learn from past mistakes and my tendency to repeat behaviours from the past into all-encompassing love. I make the commitment to kindly, gently, lovingly and supportively see the meaning behind life's dramas and learn what I need to progress with vision. Oh, beautiful. Mm. So um, heart chakra links in with the lacrimal, uh, which has the glands, which is for tears. So maybe there's some tears you need to shed. Go watch some, you know, chick flicks. Get the old tears going. Just release, release, release to help you let go of the past. And sort of sit in it and, and uh, imagine how you feel if you were to keep doing what you're doing for the next 20 years. It's not what you want to do. So just remind yourself that, hey, I've made this decision. This is going to be cool. Yeah, yeah just keep saying, this is my heart's desire. That's an mm, affirmation. Nice. I'm doing my heart's desire. Okay, so in relation to a spiritual whiplash, hold down, head up, and hold up. Beautiful. So we're nearly out of time. So let me just double check the gate. Yeah, nice and even down there. Oh, something going on with the crown chakra. Is that to do with the kundalini? Just need to stabilise that. It could be because if the if cleat or that mm -hmm. pops in, the energy will be flowing freely and yeah. sort of out because it goes up to. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So we don't down. want anything yeah. else to jump on in, yeah. you know, other people's gunk. Because it goes up to the sort of source and then comes back down to heart of guy. And... So just keep seeing yourself connected to the earth and to whatever your. Believe well, in source, mm. universe, whatever. Where are, where are you? New York, so, or New York County, or Greens, oh. Greensboro, or somewhere. I didn't see that. Bit. So, Actually, you in England. <laughs> 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 um, well, we still always stole our, all our names from England, so sometimes <laughs> people think we're all over the place. So I'll just double check any flower. Oh, it's something there. Okay. Oh, she oak. Own that feminine energy, yes. you know, so go the girl power. It's, uh, it's really about allowing that female intuition to just shine within your own business. It's about creativity. Imagine giving birth and creating life. So this is about blowing life into your new business so that it's going to just, I was going to say be the bomb, but we don't want to say that, so that it can just be the best it can possibly yeah. be. be. Amazing. Yeah. Five drops.
Yeah, so, so that's I she oak. Sorry. I yeah, a couple of spares. <laughs> okay. As soon as you said she oak, I felt the energy change and get really, really grounded. Yeah, nice. And yeah. Keep, make sure you just keep grounding yourself. And it's summer over there at the moment, so think sunshine, think grass, think, think daytime, think, you know, dirt and stones and you know outdoorsy and sort of do your planning you know sort of imagine like when you're planning for your business sort of get that sunshine you know sort of allow allow your intuition to be connected to the outdoors and i don't know which flower essence it's connected to but there's an affirmation in one of them that says uh it's when we're outside that angels come to talk to us so it's sort of like getting outside listening to your intuition allowing that energy you know to connect both to the earth and to sort of like mother earth father son yeah i think being in nature for you really keeps your energy cleaner yeah getting away from all the others getting out into nature to me it's water but for you i sense it's being out in nature yeah in the trees and yeah so like the von trapp family children go climb a tree no any joking <laughs> anyway so that is fabulous We'll get these uploaded for you tonight and uh, let us know how you go. Talk yes. soon. All the very thank best. You, thank you. Good luck with your business. It's yes. going to be great. You got this, girl. Yeah, you got this. <laughs>